Greetings everyone. My name is Tidi Murashwa from the University of Limpopo. I'm working under the supervision of R.S. Lidwaba and P.E. Mwepe, and my talk is titled The Effect of Sodium Substitution on the Lithium Sites of Li2MnO3 Cathode Materials for Lithium Ion Batteries. Um, due to the rapid development of electric vehicles and portable electronic devices, there is a need to improve the current lithium ion battery energy and power density. Now, lithium manganite has been classified as an active cathode material for such batteries due to its high capacity, non toxicity, and affordability. However, the cycling of this material results in capacity degradation and structural transformation which poses serious problems for its practical use. Studies have shown that sodium substitution at the lithium sites of this material um, can be an effective approach um, to improve lithium ion diffusion and also to stabilize the structure and also to increase the rate capacity. In this work, sodium substituted models were generated by the simulated amorphization and recrystallization technique in an attempt to enhance the structure and electrochemical performance of um, the Li2 MnO3 cathode. We carried out molecular dynamics calculations which are based on the Bond model of ionics and for all the calculations the DL poly code was used. Amorphization was carried out using the NVE ensemble and recrystallization was carried out using the NVT ensembles at uh, temperatures between 1600 to 1800 kelvins. Now, in order to generate our models, a nanosphere consisting of 32,148 atoms was cleaved from the Li2MnO3 parent bulk. The cleaved sphere was then substituted with sodium ions on the lithium sides. This was done in order to achieve systems of different sodium and lithium content. The molecular graphics for the sodium substituted systems are illustrated in the slide, where figure one represents a structure consisting of 100% sodium. The structure was introduced to various temperatures in order to identify the temperature at which a total loss of long range interactions will be reached. We note the distortion of uh, the structure as the temperature was raised. Now, in order to solve that, figure three illustrates uh, structures with low sodium content, that is 1,25 and 3,75% percent, percent of sodium. And both structures managed to recrystallize at 1,700 kelvins and maintained their spherical shapes. This shows that at lower sodium content, the structure performs better than at high sodium content. In figure four, the microstructures for, for the system containing 12.5% of sodium reveal the presence of vacancies, grain boundaries, and also the presence of the layered Li2 MnO3 phase. Now, the diffusion coefficient plots shows that lithium diffusivity is affected by the amount of sodium in the system. As the sodium content uh, was increased, the diffusion coefficient decreased. Now, the X-ray diffraction patterns for the uh, sodium substituted systems are compared with the XRD uh, for, for the Li2 MnO3. We note the broadening of peaks at lower angles as, there is, as a result of uh, lithium and manganese ordering at the transition, transition metal layers. We also note the shifting of some peaks uh, to lower angles uh, that is indicating the presence of sodium, which enlarges the lattice. In summary, sodium substituted uh, systems were generated using the amorphization technique, amorphization and recrystallization techniques. Characterization of our results shows that sodium can actually increase the lithium diffusion because sodium has larger radius than uh, lithium. Our results also reveal that structures which contains less sodium were, were stable as compared to the ones containing large amounts of sodium. I would like to thank the following parties. Thank you.